Hey, it's Bubba here, and I'm going to walk you through setting up your Armadillo Airbeam tent. To start, roll out your tent with the airbeams facing up. Peg out the tent, ensuring there's a good amount of tension between each pegging point. Next up, the poles. These slot in at each end, then attach the tent with these hooks. Now comes the fun part as the tent comes to life. Each airbeam should be inflated to 5.8 psi in warmer weather to account for expansion, and 6.2 in cooler, windier conditions. Once the tent is fully inflated, tension the poles with these straps. You can remove the bedroom divider if you'd prefer to have it one larger sleeping area. In fact, you can even remove the entire bedroom section to create a large vestibule area. The airbeam tent has three configuration options. With the Armadillo rooftop tent and annex, the Armadillo rooftop tent annex and annex wall body, and as a standalone tent by itself. To connect the airbeam tent to the rooftop tent and annex, start by securing the two clips on the front airbeam. The annex has a storm flap that prevents rain getting in between the annex and the tent. To attach the airbeam tent to the annex wall body, first ensure the entrance of the wall body is pegged to match the tent entrance. Then, connect the three clips on each side of the front airbeam to the wall body. If you want to head off for the day, but leave the airbeam tent pitched, you can simply unclip both the annex and the wall body from the tent. If the tent is damp or wet, make sure to dry it out completely before putting it in long-term storage. And that's about it. For more info, there's an instruction sheet that comes with the tent. Good luck and happy camping.